the bus one thing. I can see that. From the tragic events of Miss Faye, Faye Miles' death, everything she owns will be left to her eldest child. Interesting, though. Motive, maybe? With Jeremy's death, could hurt him with a hand of misfortune. I wasn't in that afternoon. I was at a wedding in Wales. Mark, were you also at this wedding? No, I was not. I was in the garden. What were you doing in the garden? I was watering flowers, as usual. Did you see anything while you were in the garden? I don't think so. I did see Penelope, though. What was she doing? You know, she was walking to Mr. Miles. She had his favourite meal, peanut butter on toast. Did anything seem different about Miss Penelope that afternoon? No, nothing. I was helping her with her homework all afternoon, but around five minutes before I was aware of Mr. Miles' death, she left to go and get something to eat. I left the room to go to the kitchen to look for her. Was she no one you entered? No, only Chef Gabrielle and Hector, the servants. Did you notice anything unusual about them? Well, the, the chef was stressed like usual, but Hector, he's always a bit unusual. He just doesn't seem like he likes Miles that much, especially Jeremy. I see. What were they doing in the kitchen when you went down there? The chef was in the back. Hector, though, was, well, I don't really know. He looked like he had just finished making something because there were breadcrumbs all over the side and he was holding a strange purple liquid. Well, I went into the kitchen to get my snack and as I went to go upstairs, he stopped. Who? Oh. I don't know his name. The new servant? What did he say to you? He asked if I could take Jeremy's lunch in. Did he say anything else? Well, when I was leaving to take it in, I think I heard him mutter, when all else fails, toast and peanut butter. Detective, have you any news on the case? I think we do. But we still have to talk to Hector. Actually, Hector, we'd like to speak to you here. Here? Why not in private? Well, Hector, Detective Bateman and I have been investigating the murder of Jeremy Miles. After us investigating, I conclude that Jeremy's death was not an accident. He was murdered. So, Hector, do you confess to Jeremy Miles's death? Yes. <gasps> what motive would Hector have for killing Mr. Miles? He's my son. <gasps> yes, I am Hector Miles. Faye Miles is second born. But I've worked here for 20 years. How is that possible? I'll tell you why you don't remember me. When I was born 21 years ago, my mother had had an affair on her husband, but had told him that I was his. This, of course, was a lie. And when he found out a few weeks after I was born, he had left her behind, leaving me, my mother, and my two-year-old brother behind. My mother was heartbroken and couldn't bear to live with me knowing that I was the outcome of a failed marriage. So she abandoned me on the doorstep of an orphanage. Six years I lived there. Until eventually a loving family came along and adopted me. It was great. Then six months ago I found out who my real mother was. When I learned of her terminal illness, I just had to get my hands on her fortune. So I made a plan. I was to kill my older brother and blame up my younger sister. Then when my mother had finally died, I would take her fortune. Well, Mr Hector Miles, we're arresting you on the suspicion of the murder of your brother, Jeremy Miles.